Well, here it is, the Hyundai i30N, better known as the Volkswagen Golf GTI killer. But look, I'm gonna stop talking, I'm gonna get in and go for a drive. Okay, we're out on the racetrack now and I'm about to give this thing a bit of a workout. Now, you don't expect to have this much power, but 202 kilowatts of power and up to 378 newton meters of torque. It'll do zero to 100 in 6.1 seconds, which is pretty quick considering it's only a six-speed manual. Nonetheless, it's not about the facts and figures with this car. It's all about its performance. Honestly, this is a really nice right-hand sweeper and I'm just holding it, holding it, holding it, holding it. And that front diff is working like magic. Now, the base model doesn't have that. Uh, we're still not sure if we're even gonna get the base model in Australia. But nonetheless, this top spec car with the performance pack, which gets the bigger brakes, um, gets a better exhaust system with far more crackles, uh, a bit more power, um, is, is tremendously fun. I'm, I'm really, really enjoying it out here. Of course, I can't tell you about the ride. I can't tell you about its comfort. I mean, it's pretty comfortable, but this is a very smooth go-kart track that we're talking about here. So it's not exactly the perfect road to test this car on, but as a performance car, as a car that you would love to drive on a racetrack, I am seriously having a lot of fun here. Now, the only thing I will say though, is that the base model car rides on Michelin uh, Pilot Sports and this thing rides on Pirelli P0s and as good as the Pirelli P0s are, turning into the first corner with the Michelin tyres is something else. There's a lot more grip, there's a lot more bite as you turn in and I don't know, I'm hoping that they can fix that with the production car because the top spec should really be the best performer regardless of what it is doing. And at the moment, as far as I'm concerned, the base car seems to turn in just that little bit sharper, just that little bit better. It, all, it is also riding on smaller wheels, so that could have an effect on it. But look, hard in, I'm trying to get it to misbehave now, and it really just doesn't. You could pull the handbrake around some of these corners if you really wanted to. Now we are in end mode. I should have mentioned that. We are in end mode, and that does make a bit of a difference. Everything gets a bit sharper. Uh, there's a button on the steering wheel you press for that to happen. Everything else in the car is pretty, it's pretty normal i30. You know, you've got the nice screen, you've got Apple CarPlay, all that sort of stuff. But honestly, you can bring this thing to a racetrack and have a tremendous amount of fun and then drive to Coles because that's the sort of car it is. And in many ways, this is actually more usable as a track car than a Golf GTI. I would put it in terms of performance on the same level as a Golf R because it's more agile, it's more friendly, it's more track focused. The suspension is, particularly in this car, it's lowered compared to the base model and it really does a great job of handling these corners. How much is it gonna cost? We don't know, no one tells us. It'll be roughly in the 40s for the base if they bring it in and probably in the low to mid 40s for the top spec and there will be two variants of the, each specification as well. So, you know, whether you get sunroof or leather seats or sports seats or climate control, air conditioning, all that sort of stuff. But otherwise, honestly, Golf GTI, I'm thinking this is better. This is more on Renault Megane RS type of level. This is a huge leap forward for Hyundai. It's gone from not having a hot hatch to probably having, and I'm gonna have to stop and think about saying this, but honestly, I think it now has the class leader in this segment. And that's saying a lot because 10 years ago, for a performance car, the word Hyundai would not have come up in any conversation for any class, for any car. In fact, if you remember the original Fast and Furious movie, there was even a joke about, I'm not gonna give you a Hyundai. And now, if someone would give you this car, this Hyundai i30N, you'd be very happy. And that's really it.